after school, I think. Uh, that, that'll be on Halloween. I don't know if there'll be decorations up. Probably not, but we'll see. The next chapter is about enzymes. Are you worried it'll go over your head? Don't worry. You're already familiar with the main places enzymes can be found. Your own body. Onishi. Let's see if you can tell the class. Mikey? Oh, damn. Uh, consider milk, which contains lactic acid. One type of enzyme's function is to break lactic acid into glucose and gal galactose. What is that enzyme called? Lactase? Let's ask, uh, let's ask the survey, let's see. Survey says... We've had a lot of uh, questions this month. I feel like way more than normal. I mean, there was a... Um, there was a freaking exam we did, but, you know. Uh, the answer is lactase. I was right. Some people get stomach aches from drinking milk because their bodies can't produ produce enough lactase. The same thing happens for some people in alcohol. If they, lack, if they lack enzymes to break the alcohol down. But if you're wondering if you have that particular enzyme, don't try to find out until you're 21, okay? Alright, I see what you're doing, teacher. I see what you're doing. I bet you some of these kids... I've had alcohol. I bet you that girl in the top left, in the front row, she's had it. I know she has. That's interesting. I never feel that way when I do drink what little alcohol. Uh, but I haven't had any in a long time. Okay, so Zushi, chillin' there. Let's walk around the school real quick. See what's around. Thursday, all this stuff. I feel like we need to hang out with freaking Kisuke, man. We haven't hung out with him in a while. Same thing with Shahira as well. I, just, I feel like they are going to... Um... They're gonna sour a relationship or something. Reverse social link. Da -da -da -da. Sorry, Kisuke, soon. If you call me and ask me to hang out on Sunday, I will. But gotta keep working on this one. Kazushi and Yuko. Funny, they're both in uh, the same athletic club that we're in, Kendo. But <laughs> we're working on both of them, which we could have been doing in the beginning of the game, but... It's kind of overwhelming because you want to unlock all the different social links. And then you kind of, I just like always want, wanted to spread the time and not always hang out with one. But it makes sense if you want to rank it up, you know, and get it over with, but... I don't know, it's kind of fun to spread them around. Everybody gather around. As you all know, Kazushi's knee is in bad shape. If you see him struggling, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. See y'all tomorrow. Let's grab a bite to eat. Yes. Left the school with Kazushi.
jump around, jump around. Agakure. Sorry, I needed to borrow your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. Well, you better pay for me then. I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, right? I'm fine, I'll survive. I'm tougher than I look. Maybe, but... Zushi laughs sarcastically. There are some things even a tough guy can't do. When I go to my sister's place to play with my nephew, I help him get into the bath. Oh, that's right, because he is, uh, I think, paralyzed. Even though he's only five years old, he's still heavy. It'd be difficult having to do that every day. If I'm not able to walk, then I won't even be able to go to the bathroom by myself. Yeah, I know that's like... You don't want to think about that, but that ha does happen. I'll be a burden on my mom. That just occurred to me while I was leaning on you. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will ya? I've been completely upfront with you, so I hope you feel like you can do the same. Kazushi seems to be worried about you. The relationship is stronger now. Is this rank 9 or 10? This is 9. There's one more. I was like, this can't be 10, right? This seems like a lackluster finale. But no, he's, uh, he's rank 9. So there's one more. Also, apparently, I got disconnected from chat again. Which is a weird thing that's been happening on Twitch this week. For some reason. Although it's been relatively quiet today, uh, which is fine. There's not much going on in the game anyway. I feel guilty since I made everyone worry. I have to win at regionals no matter what, for their sake too. You ate, you left. Yeah, and it's like, should I do the full moon today or should I do it on another day? Hello. Hello. The next full moon will be on November 3rd. That gives us five more days. Yes. Is that the same stuff? Done the same thing about the group disbanding. For Amaro senses people. Nervous about the end? No. Someone's drinking milk over there. Someone paid attention in our class uh, lecture today. About lactase. Y'all just standing around saying the same thing? Today's Cantonese word is Kaumina Mena? I just want to know how to pronounce it. It'll tell me what it means. I'm not going to look it up. Kaumina or Mena? Kaumina. 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 Yeah, pretty much Kaumina. Turn your head left and right and say it. Kalmena. 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 <laughs> it would mean this. Kalmena means help. Even I say Kalmena to those apathy syndrome victims. Help! That's all for this week. Back to the news. Kalmena. Yeah, help me. He's out in the mood for a walk. Okay. Um, let's go check the consoles. Console room real quick, and then we'll just go to our room. Man, even though that, like, 
we're progressing through the days, you know, not doing as much as we normally do, where I would like literally go all over the place. Uh, there's no new recordings. Go all over the place in town and talk to everybody. Like, even not doing that, it still takes time. Like, we started the stream and we had, like, what, 16 days? And just uh, coming up on two and a half hours, and we're about to hit five days. Uh, is this our floor? It is. So, even that, just passing the time like that is, it takes a little bit. Um, but, I mean, it's fine, because, you know, we have goals that we're currently trying to uh, fulfill before this full moon. We've already ranked up, or we maxed out student council. We're working on Kazushi and Yuko. They're at both at nine. So, you know, we're working towards it. Oh no, magic man over here. Let me wet my whistle, because he's going to freaking go on a long old uh, rant here. We'll go run around the town uh, tomorrow in the game. Class is now in session. Salamander So Gluhen. Miss Toriyumi is feeling ill today. Again, I will be her replacement today. People tend to overstuff themselves during autumn. Mind your manners. It's just it just so happens that I have a lesson prepared. Today, we'll look at summoning magic. The topic at hand is magic used to summon angels and demons to our world. First, what is summoning magic? It's when a magician summons a spiritual presence and controls it to achieve his or her goals. Like shamanism, summoning magic can be seen throughout the world can be seen throughout the world in different eras. It's widely seen in books, movies, better video games, and so on. Why does he say better video games? Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's Foss was instrumental in popularization of summoning magic. There are many examples of summoning magic I like to share, but we don't have that much time. But here are a few of them. In the Middle Ages, John Dee and Edward Kelly joined forces in Europe to summon an angel. Later, in the 19th century, the magician, Eliphas Levi, summoned the spirit of Apollonius. Following in his footsteps was Aleister Crowley, who was in the 20th century, who in the 20th century summoned the guardian angel, Iwas. What else? There's a uh, Neoplatonism focusing on the doctrine of summoning a spirit called a daemon. In Vodun, uh, the Haungen may summon a spirit called a Loa, and in Japan, an incantation in a religion called uh, Vajre Rayana could be considered a summoning ritual. How do I say that? Because that's in Japanese, and we're playing a game that's in Japan. I want to hear the pronunciation uh, in Japanese, though, not English. Miko. It's a different... Uh, it's a Miko. Vajrayana. Vajrayana, okay. Vajrayana. By s performing this ritual, the summoner tries to fuse with Buddha to gain his power. I go on and on, there are countless examples of summoning magic. But by studying many different forms, you can begin to see a pattern. Once magic circles, spells, and the like were established as part of the ritual, they saw more common use and... Stay awake. But summoning magic isn't always used for powerful spirits. It could be... It can also invoke everyday spirits. Seances, for example, or Ouija boards? Oof. I've seen some Ouija board videos, man, and, uh... You don't want to mess with that. <laughs> I've never done it. I don't 
ever plan on doing it, but I've seen uh, clips and, and videos revolving around stuff that people do, and like, uh, yeah, I'm good. Those videos could be fake, of course, but I believe not. Not when you're messing with stuff like that. These rituals are easy to perform, and that's very attractive, but as I've told you many times, do not try this at home. It may result in unpleasantness. <laughs> See, even he's saying that. All right, we can hang out with Kazushi. I'll go out this door. I never go out this door. Uh, but is Zuko down here? No. Okay. I'm sorry, BB. My friends haven't been calling me. They're like, he's not hanging out with me. Screw him. Or they don't really care. That one down here. I don't know why I come down this hallway. I, this is like the hallway I should never come down. But uh, yeah, we'll hang out with Kazushi again. When is um, photography? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so three days in a row. So m maybe I'll hang out with you on Wednesdays. Um, until I finish either y uh, Kazushi or Yuko. Because we have, um... We have, a uh, practice on a couple of those days. Don't want to practice today? I'd like to go to practice. Let's go. Okay, friendship growing. Ah, still not there. We're still gonna need another... We're still gonna need another visit or two until we rank him up. Where have you been? So we won't finish him before the full moon. Alright, let's make the freaking rounds here. Jeez, it's all the same. I gotta go slow on this one. I don't wanna go to Tartarus yet. Yeah. Although cultural anthropologists have determined the dates of attack and recovery, people are still concerned since no one has figured out the cause of the syndrome. He's not in the mood for a walk. Okay. All right. There's one thing that I want to do before uh, we sleep and whatnot. Again, we're getting closer and closer to the final few days before the full moon, and I'm going to go into Tartarus and do some leveling. I might do a little bit on stream, but I won't, you know, put that and cut it for YouTube. We'll just cut that out and uh, and skip it, but um, I do want to see if there's some sort of weapon that I can make here. I don't, I haven't really used this too much, but I, I, I'm kind of interested. So we have a long sword, we have a spear, bow, we actually have a lot of these, except longsword, uh, axe, knife, and gun. Now you get these off the golden uh, hand enemies in Tartarus, and you have to fuse them with a persona. 
but it's like a lot of these personas I want to keep. I don't want to get rid of. Ooh. Whoa, a two-handed sword. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Levitin? Sword capable of destroying the world. Strengthens fire attacks. Yo, I kind of want to make that, but... I don't know if I can buy Cert back and like how much money he's going to cost. I would totally make this sword, though. First of all, how do I pronounce it? This is a, uh, this is a Nordic, uh, probably sword. Uh, translated from Estonian, apparently. Levitin. Levitin. What does it say about Levitin if I Google Levitin? Yeah, it's a Norse mythology. It's a sword. Damn, it looks pretty cool. I mean, if cert doesn't cost that much to, you know, uh, buy back, I don't even know if you can buy him back. I would make this. So that's kind of interesting then. If I can do I have any others that are, I don't have any other, um, personas that were like maxed from a social link, but I wonder if. You can also fuse them with weapons, so it's not just a basic thing. Hmm. Damn, that seems kind of badass. I bet you that sword is going to look sick, too. And I don't think we have anything that's, like, that high in damage. Not yet, at least. I have a 213 katana. That sword was, like, 320 or 40 or something. So, let me just see if, like, if I can buy Cert again from the Compendium now that I've made him. And, like, how much does he cost? Are we talking 100,000? Because whatever he costs, as long as it's not a million, I think I might do it. I think I might actually, uh... Do this. Because that's a unique weapon. That is 100% unique. You will never get that without fusing him. So cert, so he costs 118. I would do this. I would actually do this, to be honest. I could use it. Uh, Junpei could use it. Junpei does fire, so that would be good. What is the other pers Did I ever make a persona that was from a maxed um, social link? The only other ones we have maxed are was Tanaka and uh, Yutatsu, and we can't we're not high enough to make those. And we well we actually did now just unlock Odin. So would Odin also be a sword too? Let me look up uh Nile Sword Persona 3. Sword Fusion. Doesn't really say. Ultimate weapon for each character. Defuse him into any. So, okay, so you can fuse him in with any weapon, and it becomes the sword, I guess. I wouldn't mind trying trying to get all the uh, the weapons. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. I want to check. So we can buy him back. He costs 118. I want to check something. If I decide to fuse him with something else that I know that I won't use, like if if I fuse him with like a knife or um, a bow, something I have several Nile items with, does it just become the sword still and it become the same like attack and all that stuff? So like a bow, right? Yeah, it still does. And it is still exactly the same stats. So what, you don't have to use that one in particular. When it comes to fusing a Nile weapon, or Nile, Nile item, with a max persona. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I would do that then. I'll do that. I will make this using a bow. Because I doubt I will be using bows. You can pick it up in two days. Alright, sick. So, I lost that persona, right? Yes, I don't have search anymore. So... I guess I should buy him back then? Or do I want to get to level 56 so I can have more room to fuse someone else? Do I buy him back immediately or should I wait? Because he takes up he'll take up one spot when maybe I don't want to have that spot there. I don't know. If I don't have him in my party right now, I got four s slots remaining. And if I want to make Odin, it's like three. So actually, no, it's good. It's good. I can buy him back. Let me buy him back. I want to test this stuff, man. Make sure this stuff works. Because he's almost close enough to get Ragnarok. Which I don't know what skill that is going to look like, but I will take it. And if we're going to go into Tartarus and grind um, before the full moon, then yes, I will do that. Okay, so we got that weapon ready in two days. Once we get that weapon, then we'll go into Tartarus. Uh, I guess I'll check the club while I'm here. Dun, dun. Oh, I just see the uh, social links up on the top getting spammed. You know, Twitter, I don't really post on Twitter that much anymore. I, uh, they, they are saying new stuff, so we'll read it. I don't really post on Twitter that much anymore. I feel like maybe I should, but I, I think I've been on this trend where I just like post on Twitter once a month. But uh, yeah, I've kind of noticed that now. I don't get on it as often either to like check things. Does it go days without checking Twitter? <clears throat> now this now does seem like a like the time to use fortune telling, but I wonder what she was trying to say. Light will pierce the shadow. Until then, have patience. Drops the frames there. Wow, we've gone like all stream and then uh, we didn't have really any issues. My friend felt victim to that apathy syndrome. I asked Mama if she could help me. She said she can't see her, but she can't do anything now. Do you worry about your exam scores? No, because I ace them, baby. Great, that's the way men are supposed to be. Alright. Hey, how are you? Groovy. It's autumn already. I better get my groove on. Alright, Ash. Let's see if she's... I think the fortune teller says the same stuff. A strong... Okay, this is new. A strong wind blows across the world, sending a blue flower's petals into the air. Blue flower's petals. The flower discovered the world, made friends to protect, and has become another light. The lights are gathering around you. Be prepared. Farewell, then. May your future be bright. 